Sharks, Ace of Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. And today we're gonna go ahead and do a little walking tour of the Planet Hollywood Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas. Let's get inside and see what it's all about. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. After being acquired from Aladdin Gaming in 2003, the new Aladdin Resort was remodeled and reopened as Planet Hollywood in November of 2007. The brainchild of then president and founder, British-born Robert Earl, the hotel is the fifth hotel casino opened on the site. And now's our opportunity to see if the hotel has stood the test of time. All right, here we are guys, we're coming in for Planet Hollywood, let's have some fun. Okay, and here we are, we are at the Planet Hollywood Casino where we're gonna enjoy about 64,000 square feet of gaming space, including the Pleasure Pit. So the Pleasure Pit is normally on nights and weekends where you get the dancing go-go uh, girls and all that that play in the casino along with you. Well, they don't really play with you, but they're dancing dealers. So coming into the center of the property here, this is where you get to kind of break off. So the hotel lobby and Uber level are right back that way. That's where you catch your Uber and all. You also get the Spice Market Buffet, which is a normal Planet Hollywood buffet. That is unfortunately closed right now. And Earl of Sandwich is down the other direction over there by the Miracle Mile shops. But let's go ahead and just walk around the front of the property and enjoy ourselves a little bit. All right, so starting off, we have the Crazy Girl statue over here. This is probably going to be somebody's favorite part of the video. Uh, the Crazy Girl show found its new home here at Planet Hollywood after the old Riviera Hotel was demolished back in 2015. Now from there, if you proceed forward, and slightly to the left, you get the Caesars Rewards desk. So if you're a Caesars Rewards member, that's where you uh, get your points. You can also get your free... Link tickets and your free bodies tickets there. If you, go, you want to go to the high roller at the link or the real bodies exhibit at Bally's, if you're a diamond member this year, they will not be doing any more uh, show tickets until next year, is what they told me last time I was here. PF Chang's is immediately to the left, but you can have that in your hometown. Don't eat at PF Chang's, guys. Doesn't matter, it's temporarily closed. So we can do a little walk around over here. If we go out this way, we're gonna experience one of Gordon Ramsay's signature restaurants, Gordon Ramsay Burger. It's definitely on the pricier side. He is paying for it, and the name is definitely a whole thing there, but it is popular. So if you're interested in Gordon Ramsay at all, this is a spot to hit him up, Gordon Ramsay Burger, if you don't mind spending the extra money. Security desk is also back the same general direction over here and then you're gonna have your walkway out to Paris that way back to the rest of the strip. So then once we get past the extra lounge, we can proceed this way and we can check out the Cafe Hollywood. So walking through the lounge. And of course, we have some more access to the Miracle Mile shops out this way. And then of course, the typical casino Starbucks, because no casino is complete without Starbucks. But yeah, coming back from Gordon Ramsay Burger, back out to the casino. Then we do have the Cafe Buffet or Cafe Hollywood, I should say. It's not an actual buffet anymore. That's a, that's a different one. That's a Spice Market buffet, and that's downstairs. I'll see if I can show it to you guys here. And then we come down to the video poker bank with the old school slot machines and the old school video poker machines and Kino machines. So if you guys do like doing those sorts of things, you're good. Also walking back from Cafe Hollywood, a little bit backwards is the Spice Market buffet which as you guys know right now, due to social distancing protocol, it is currently closed. 
So no, no one is allowed to do any buffet videos down there because the buffet is closed for business. Dark on the rock. Just to kind of orient ourselves, we can come back to the main casino here. Then we'll have the option to go upstairs to the mezzanine level, or we can go back out to the pleasure pit here, where you're gonna see most of your table games and the higher level slot games. And if you guys are interested, the heart bar is dead center in the middle. This is what the casino calls their center bar. Decent drinks and it's a good spot to watch some sports. I don't think Planet Hollywood has a sports book. And this is kind of your central hub for everything in the casino. So everything is oriented relative to the heart drop bar. But yeah, the whole area is surrounded by table games. So if you're a table game player and you like the party atmosphere, this is kind of the spot to be. And then once again, on the way out, you'll get back to the Miracle Mile shops. That's the interesting thing about Planet Hollywood. Everything else is just Miracle Mile shops. So everything takes you into the, into the uh, casino there and then everything takes you back out to the Miracle Mile, which is their mega mall. The place is pretty much on par with Mall of America. It's pretty intense, except it's much smaller than Mall of America is. And back to the heart bar. This is where you're gonna kind of orient yourself if you're staying here, because the rooms in the lobby are downstairs. So yes, if you're staying here, you're gonna go down this escalator, and this is gonna take you towards the lobby and the rooms. So we have the Starbucks over here, North Elevators, and the liqueur shops. Not the liquor shop, liqueur. It's a little different. So if you're interested on this side, and if you're checking into one of the Planet Hollywood's 2,490 rooms, this is your express check-in and hotel registration and express check-out too, as well as the 24-hour Planet Hollywood store. And then you're gonna have your elevators on this side over here to get to the rooms, but I've showed you guys the rooms on the channel already, so you guys can enjoy that video in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. All right, coming back upstairs to the main casino level here from our Miracle Mile shops in the hotel rooms. There's a nice picture of Chris and Ah, oh, man. Hate that guy. But we can still go upstairs and see what's happening up there. I think back in the year 2000 when the uh, old Aladdin got sold off, I don't think they had any idea that this was going to happen. So yes, this is where you're gonna experience a lot of your upper level kind of entertainment. As you guys know, Planet Hollywood is an entertainment hotel. That's the theme. It's just Showtime in Hollywood. And I'll tell you what, even on a kind of a slow afternoon here. It's still kind of got a nice little atmosphere. I enjoy it. The Wynn is a better hotel objectively, but I like this. And then here we come to the Sin City Theater. This is a place where you'd enjoy something like Chris Angel or Gwen Stefani or someone like that. Crazy Girls is another option here if they were uh, running the show and I don't think they're going to start doing that until uh, November 8th, and I will not be here for that. A lot of kind of open space up here. 
I guess since nobody's really uh, running the shows here, there's not much else to do on this level but eat. Because I know Koi, the Koi restaurant, is up here. And then there's the Chris Angel Experience. Yep, that's that Chris Angel Experience right there. And you also get to enjoy, oh, <laughs> whose motorcycles are these? This is apparently one of Chris's uh, motorcycles here. Nope, also a <laughs> Chris Angel motorcycle. And then here's the Strip House Steak, as well as the Koi restaurant up top. And then of course we have more of Chris Angel's motorcycles. And then that brings us to the overlook over here, where we can actually enjoy the casino as a whole. It's a little bit of a loop around, and it's a little eclectic. It's not like a lot of the other MGM and Venetian and one properties where it's all kind of laid out in grid patterns or anything. It's a little chaotic here, which adds to the party atmosphere and makes it a little more fun. All right, guys, we're coming back down the escalator because there's one more part of the casino hotel that you guys absolutely must experience. Okay, so we're down on the main floor over here. We take a hard left, and we're gonna go by YOLO's. But YOLO's isn't what you must experience, no. No, there's something greater than the YOLO's restaurant. So from the central hub here, we're gonna take a left and go straight through. We're gonna power through. As the Bears would say, we're gonna powerhouse through that. Can go upstairs to the Cabaret Lounge too but the shows aren't going right now, so that's not terribly important. What is terribly important is another route out to the Miracle Mile shops once you get past Yellow's Mexican Grill, which is only open for lunch and dinner, by the way. There's no breakfast served at this bar. I found out out the hard way when I stayed here. But most importantly, here we are. Right past the Quick Hits and the Wheel of Fortune, we're going to get to the Earl of Sandwich. Hog and Two Cents, favorite sandwich spot in the whole wide world. So don't forget to go ahead and give that a look. I've also got a video to that. I will link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And then we're right back out to the Miracle Mile shop, Spinners and Sharks, so that's about it. This is where Planet Hollywood ends. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's about it really for Planet Hollywood. Surprisingly, it's a very, uh, self-contained casino hotel and uh that makes for an interesting kind of walk through there hopefully that can help you orient yourself a little bit while you're at the casino because it does get a little confusing now as of right now they're not open during the week but for the weekends if you're looking for a cool spot to chill i'd uh yeah highly recommend it Viva Las Vegas. Viva.